on your site. And um, if we're looking at the Standing Stone site, if we scroll down, all of these here, all the ones with the different headings down here, these are all widgets. And then at the very bottom, these are widgets. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven widgets here, and then three at the bottom, eight, nine, 10 widgets total. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go to the dashboard. Under appearances is widgets. And so what we're gonna see is off to the right hand, on the left is all the available widgets we can use of all the different types of data we wanna put onto the site. And then on the right is the actual what is going there. So what we're gonna do is first look at the home, one, two, and three, which is this is home one, home two, and I believe that's home three. Yes. Um, so right here under home one is this column. And at the top, it goes the Woo table business hours and then Woo Flickr. And so that's business hours Flickr. And so you to move those, you can just drop and drag like that. You can see it's working. And then we can just refresh this and it should be the hours are under the photos now. So you can see it is the photos and then the hours. So you can change like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. But under the business hours, you can just click the drop down menu. And it's labeling what that is, is hours. You can change that, whatever you want to call that. In a different tutorial, I'll show you how to how to actually update the business hours. I'm just going to hit close. Flickr. This is the UR, your ID, Flickr ID. And you can click that and it will get your ID. But this is the number of pictures I'm showing. What user, how am I going to sort them, what size, all that. Under here, location and calendar. Under location type in the title of what you want that to be and then the location page template and we've created a page with the template of directions so I'm using that and then here's calendar and what I did was just use a text widget put calendar and then I copy and pasted an iframe from Google Calendar and then the far right one is the search the stories and Twitter so you've got search it's just a, a search widget that I pulled over. It labeled it search, news, titled it stories, what category, all of our posts are under stories, and then Twitter stream, the same thing. I just titled it Twitter and then put in our Twitter URL, and then the number of tweets, and I just said one. And then the primary is actually what's going to be on the sidebar of pages. So if we go to a page like volunteer on the sidebar is showing stories and search these are two widgets and that's primary widgets and so you can see stories and search and then the footer we've got three footers one two and then three so we've got a pages menu a search and then the contact us and so you can see the first one is pages menu just giving a, a menu of all the pages we have. The search, the same exact one, and then the contact us is just some HTML I put in there. But what you can do is just drop and drag any of these options that you have here and you can play around with it. Drop them in there, sort them how you would like. But that's how you can add, edit, and um, delete widgets. The one thing I am going to show you on this one is the business hours of how you can update and change that. So if we're on the dashboard, we're going to go down to reservations and then over to Woo table settings. And so under here, it's going to be business hours setup. And then here's the business hours that we put in. The opening time, closing time, opening time, closing, opening, closing. 
and so you can see Sunday and Monday and Tuesday were closed. So I've got Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, and then the hours. But that's how you can you can just drop down, click what you want. If you want it closed, you just check that box. And when you're done, just hit save all. But that's how you can edit your hours right here.